Hey guys, Big Daddy Hoffman, 1911 coming to you today. I'm at the IWI booth, and a couple of things here has caught my eye. I've got Colin here. He's going to tell us about this. What do you got there, buddy? Hey, Mark, uh, right here we got the Tavor TS-12 12-gauge semi-automatic shotgun. All right, it's a tube-fed rotary magazine, 12-gauge. It's got a 3-inch chamber. You load from the right here or the left here. All right, either way, you still have access to your two lower mag tubes. All right, to rotate these mag tubes, you're going to use your trigger finger. You're going to index that little plunger right there. Press it in just enough to get the mag tubes to rotate. All right, at this point, you'll see the followers going around. So if you shoot two and three quarter inch shells, you can fit five per tube. You'll load five, rotate, load five, rotate again, load your final five. You can chamber it and get 16 rounds in this weapon. You can ghost load it, similar to a Benelli, and get 17 rounds in this weapon. It's fed from the top tube. So once you shoot your five rounds in there, or your seven rounds, if you have it ghost loaded, the bolt's gonna lock to the rear on the empty mag, which is standard semi-auto shotgun stuff, okay? You're gonna rotate your mag tubes as long as you have a live shell in either one of these tubes, it's gonna chamber that shell as soon as you get it in the battery here, okay? So all you're responsible for is pulling the trigger and rotating the mag tubes. It's got an 18 and a half inch barrel, and it's choked for Benelli and Beretta uh, style chokes. Man, that is so cool. I really like that now. I'm big, I love shotguns. That's where my heart is, you know what I mean? And this is gonna be fun right here. What is the uh, MSRP gonna be on it? MSRP on the TS-12 is gonna be $1,399. Okay, we're expecting delivery hopefully sometime around March or April. Okay. All right, that sounds good. And you got one more thing here that caught my eye. I'm sure you got a lot of things here that caught my eye, right. but I'd like to talk about that one if we could. Absolutely, I'll grab one for you. All right. Here we go. Man, this is nice, guys. We'll have fun on the range with this one. Absolutely, fun on the range with that. All right, what we got here now? Here we have the uh, brand new Tavor 7. Okay. It's a standard Tavor, it's chambered in 762 NATO. Runs your standard SR25 pattern magazines. It's got a 16 and a half inch barrel and a 1 and 12 twist. You have your ambidextrous fire controls here with a 45 degree throw, which is a bit different from the SAR and the X95. You also have a locking cocking handle. If you have to unload and show clear, you pull it back, just set it up in that little notch just like an MP5. All right, the big changes on the 7. You have an adjustable short piston system, okay? It's set up for standard firing and regular firing, adverse firing, suppressed, and uh, you can turn it off. If you're shooting subsonic 308 ammo with a suppressor, you don't want it to recoil, you don't want it to cycle, it'll be nice and quiet. The other big change is it's fully convertible from left hand to right hand using everything in the rifle. You don't have to send it back to IWI or an armor anymore for a left hand bolt and head space. Okay, it's nice and easy. Charging handle pushes over, you want me to run it right now? Yeah. It takes about a minute. Okay. Grab my punch here. You need nothing more than a 308 bullet to take this rifle apart and completely disassemble it into a left-hand configuration. There's your recoil mechanism. You'll notice it's a short-stroke piston. All right, you're missing your long stroke from the X95 and SAR 556 recoil mechanisms. So for the body of the rifle, you got your two index marks right here. You're going to slide your cocking handle back between those and tilt it 45 degrees into the receiver. You're going to take your 308 bullet right here, hit that little detent, pull your cocking handle off. Rotate the weapon. You can install it on the opposite side right there, okay? So your cocking handle is now left-handed. You're going to grab your brass deflector on the right side of the rifle. You're going to pull it out, twist it. You're going to close that little trap door right there. That's now the ejection port cover. You're gonna grab this, do the exact same thing, and that's now your brass deflector, okay? Wow. Now the body of the rifle is now in a left-hand configuration. That is so good right there. I can't believe that, it's so easy. Right, exactly. The recoil mech breaks down in almost identical to an M16. There's your firing pin, retaining pin, there's your firing pin. For those of you with 5.56 guns, you no longer have that little scallop cutout right there. You don't have to orient it to, to, to uh, put it back into the recoil mechanism. You can drop it right back in. Now your bolt cam pin right here. You'll see that it's marked R and L for right and left. You pop that out. All you do with this guy 
If you rotate your bolt, you're going to orient it with the ejectors on the right side and the extractor on the left side to get your left side ejection. Take your bolt cam pin, now that we're going left, you put the L upright. Drop it right back here into the bolt carrier. It only goes in one way. It's, uh, it's perfect. Reinstall your firing pin. Set that. Open your rifle back up. And your recoil mechanism goes back in. You now have a left-hand rifle. It's done. That quick and easy, guys. Yes, sir. I've got the uh, 9 millimeter and the 556, but having this in a 308 is going to be really nice. Right. Yeah, it's an excellent weapon. Uh, again, we're expecting delivery, hopefully sometime between uh, March and April 2018. MSRP is going to be $22.99 on the Tavor 7. That sounds great. Well, I really appreciate you showing me both of these. God, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, keep up the fight against gun control, and as always, remember, Big Daddy loves you. And thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.